Hey, Steve Petrato here with Horizon Hobby. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Spectrum DX7S for use with your Blade 350 QX3. All right, let's get started. First thing you want to do is, of course, fire up your radio. Uh, the, the easiest thing to do is select a new model. Hold down that knob on your right side here and turn the radio on. That's going to get you into your system setup menu. You can go ahead and click Model Select, and then we can select a blank model. I'm just going to collect a random model here. Make sure it is Acro. Um, that is, we don't want a heli model, we want an acro model. And then we're going to just go ahead and clear it just to be safe. So I'm going to go to model reset and I'm going to select that and just clear the model. That's just in case I happen to put some other programming on there down, you know, earlier on, earlier in time and I didn't remember it. So just now we have a clear model. Next thing we want to do is go to switch select, click that. Now the DX7S does not have a three position top right switch. So we're going to actually use the flap switch which is actually uh, this guy here for our flight modes. And we want to clear out all of these values just to make sure we have nothing else that we don't need. So I'm just clicking them, clicking my right roller, and then hitting the clear button, and I'm clearing out all those values. Then, because of course the DX7 does not have a three position flight mode switch, we're actually going to put our flight modes on the flap switch. That's going to be the gear channel, so that's going to activate, uh, your flap switch is going to activate your flight modes. Then we're going to go to our gear, our gear and we're going to select that as aux one that's going to put your gimbal control on and off here and then you want your actual gimbal control uh, like for the angle adjustment on your knob so we'll set that as aux two that's going to put that right here on your knob okay so we're done there we can clear out of that menu uh, then we're done in the system setup there's nothing else in this menu that we need uh, for the model. So we can hit back, which will take us into the main the main flight menu here. Um, so we'll go into the function list and we will go to servo setup, select that, and then we want to stay in the travel, but we want to go to aux one. Now what this is going to do here is allow us to jump from velocity or angle mode on the gimbal. I'll explain that in a second. But if we, what we want to do is adjust the high side to 140 and the low side to 120. So as we get to the low side, we flip the switch up, and that's what you'll see that that now move that over here. Select that, and we're going to raise that to 120. That side never changes. That helps us do calibrations and whatnot. This side over here, so if we flip this switch back again, all the way there, now we have 140. Now 140 will give us angle mode on the, on the gimbal, so every bit I move this is the angle that the gimbal moves. If I move this to 130, which is now velocity mode, if I move this just a little bit past center, the gimbal will slowly rise up. If I move it a little bit past uh, center the other way, it'll slowly des descend, and if I move it all the way, it'll go all the way to the bottom. So it's a little bit different functionality on the gimbal. Most people like angle mode, so we'll just go ahead and put that back to 140, but that's how you adjust between the two. The next most important thing, of course, is setting up throttle cut. And to do that, we just go to the throttle cut menu, select that, and I like to put it on the trainer and that's where the manual says to do it. That's going to put it on this button here so that you can kill the model quickly with a button and you can test it of course by clicking it and you'll see the, the monitor move there. And that is it. We'll go through here and make sure there's nothing else, which there isn't. Of course you may want to set up a timer and of course the model name, but that's about it. Alright guys, that's everything you need to know for your Spectrum DX7S radio for use with your 350QX3. I hope this video helps and if you have any other questions, please check us out on facebook.com slash bladehelis and of course on our website at bladequad.com. Thanks.